were looking at the 100 creepiest videos that have ever been posted on TikTok. And if you can find all 10 hidden scary blobfish in today's video, you win. That most houses don't do. As if having bats in my house wasn't bad enough, I'm pretty sure I also have a portal to hell. Oh. Let me show you. Okay. This is, this is, this is a little scary. Oh my Demons gosh. Demons clearly scratched the door. Whoa. Like if you look at that, like those are some deep scratches. Wow. And then at the bottom of that staircase, it's a dirt floor. No, thank you. No, I just locked that up and sealed the wall shut. I would never use that door again. Five oh seconds before I jetted out of this house and threw a match behind me. I only want to finish this one because that creeps me out. That creeps me out so much. Having to knock on the doors of the buildings before you go inside. Out of respect. Wow. The silence. The There's hole. probably very few people. I, I don't know. I feel like a couple people would really love to work at a job. We're like naughty this. children. Go. What? I think I just heard something. Is that a... Is that a is Saying that a goodbye oven? to the ghost before you leave. Goodbye, Michael. Having to tell a ghost story. Inside. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of people that would absolutely love this job. I wouldn't. I would hate it. I would never visit. But some people would. That no one likes to go into. Do I have to? Okay. I think it's just the whole the dark factor, you know. There's gonna be something in here, isn't there? There's gonna be something in here, isn't there? They're gonna set it up. Nah, 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 nah. This ain't. This. Oh my ain't. god! Don't, 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 don't run! Don't run! Get out of here! <laughs> We've all had that moment where, like, you're as a kid or something, and you like hear a noise, and you're like, nope, 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 just run, just leave. Really not even worth it. <laughs> oh, I gotta pause it. I need a, I need a break. I need a break. Let's take a deep breath together because it's getting dark and it's a hallway, and I don't like that. Here we go. No, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh God, why did that girl scare me? I, I, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. No, oh, am I? Am I? This one freaks me out. <laughs> Who lives here, dude? Don't live here. Just sell the place. Nope. 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 No, 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 her husband was on his way to take her home. That he was coming up the elevators. Okay, well, that just gave me chills. <laughs> gave me chills down my back. Uh, I think her husband doesn't know how to work an elevator, though, dearie. He needs to walk out of it. He needs to walk out of the elevator. Why am I? It, it, does anyone else's neck have goosebumps on it right now? At the moment, like a lot of hair coming out. Like my hair is sticking up like needles on the back of my neck right now. Uh, she smiled and told us he finally made it to see me. Maybe he is there. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, she never go for breakfast. Look, hey, you can't explain that. If that's a real story, it's freaky. Something in her leg. Okay. Her body is a wooden box inside. Okay. What do we have? What is it? Is it a hat? Is it a little baby hat? A little hat. That's weird. It comes to life when you put the hat on. <laughs> what? What? What is this? I, a lovely little discovery. Wow, there's a lot of people that would definitely not say that. A lot of people would just say, wow, I just bought a freaking witch's voodoo doll and I'm terrified and I'm gonna probably kill someone every time I touch it. So everybody that's been kind of curious, this is the church that's directly across the street from my house okay. that I was explaining. Um, this is the area where we see that figure. Figure. It just walks back and forth. Oh, I see every it. Day, That's just a human. Day. Pacing. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as Weird. I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. What? Um, yesterday I went. Yesterday was Easter. That's weird. I went over there, but two big dogs that were off leash came out and. Uh, it was time to go. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just a dude thinking, you know what I mean? Like he's literally just chilling and like he got a nice spot in the forest to think. He's like preparing for his next speech or something. It's a nice spot in nature. Uh, our ER is haunted. Nobody was behind the curtain. No air vents nearby. All right, let's see it. This curtain, I'm guessing. Oh, just a little brief. 
I mean, it could be like a like a ghost that came out of a dead body. It could be like Doctor Strange flying through the room. I mean, you know what? You know what? It could be anything. Legend has it that the tunnel is 444 meters long. Spooky because four is an unlucky number. It is oh. said to be haunted by the spirits of those who pass during its construction, wow. those executed in the area, and those who have taken their own life. At the end of the tunnel is a town called Saga Kiyotaki. But if you make an immediate right, you'll be led down another path that brings you back to the start. You're not supposed to look in any mirrors, or you may find the reflection of your own corpse looking back at you. Ooh. If this happens, you'll meet your untimely fate in a few days. You're not supposed to look in any mirrors. Well, there is a mirror right there to see oncoming traffic. So this seems like if you don't look in a mirror, you're more likely to die. Or if you do look in a mirror, you're going to see a car coming and realize you're going to get hit by a car. I don't know about that one. She's right there. She's right there. Hey, what's up, girl? Can you? There's two of them. Hey, can you make a face if you're right there? Can you um say yes? Like, stick your tongue out. Stick your tongues out if oh, you can boy. see me. Yo, there's two of them. <laughs> oh, that would be, I would scream. I bet they scream after this. Hi, my house is kind of weird. Um, come with me to look at it. So the weird part is the whole second floor is missing. So my bedroom oh. looks normal, but then you look up and there's a room you can't okay, get that's to weird. and a lock yeah. you can't get to without a ladder. That is weird. So put the ladder up and head on up there. What the heck? You can see I have to move stuff out of the way from the door because it actually opens at night, which is kind of creepy, even though there's a lock. I think it has to do with the heat, but you open it. Who designed it, this thing? And it was, I think, like an old kid's bedroom. What? Because of the wallpaper. But That's haunted. It's all falling off. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room quite yet. That'd be a sick movie theater room, though. Dang, I got one of these in my place. I'm pretty sure it's just an attic, but, like, this would literally be the best movie theater spot. Like, put down, like, some couches. You got, like, a secret room. Like, this is kind of cool. I get that it's haunted, but, like, you got to, you know, it's cool. It's a cool spot. Jerry. Jerry. Get she kind of reminds me of like a like Dory from Finding Nemo. Grass up here. Hey. Oh no. It's time to do the f***ing dishes. Since you mixed my whites with the darks, we're gonna teach you a little lesson. I'm gonna teach you how to do the dishes. Let's go. She's like whooping this ghost into shape. Look, you can play dress up later. Let's go. Oh. Alright, well I can only assume that you're up here now. Oh. <laughs> what? Do you see Jerry? Where's Jerry? She could be crazy, but holy where, crap. Where is he? Yeah, man, I don't want no Jerry. Look, I'm not buying an old house. My house is older than 10 years after this video. I've decided it will not be worth me buying, ever. No, I don't want to watch this one either, guys. I am legit. Uh, I don't like the black and white. That makes it a little bit extra scary, but I'll do it for you guys. Here we go. Oh, look, it's a little wisp. Aw, it's, it's, are you sure that's not just like a bug? You you wouldn't think? Like a, like a bug reflecting light? Doesn't that seem possible here? <laughs> You What'd you catch on camera? Nah. Little old apartment. Dude was playing VR in the corner in a party by himself, playing a little Clash of Clans right here. What? What? No! No! What? No! What? No! What? That phone was just plugged in. Wait, their phone was ringing and it's not even plugged in. That don't even make sense. Rando nodding. It's an app that you download and it gives you a completely random location close to you that you go to and apparently it's supposed to be a glitch in the simulation or something like that. I don't really know if I believe it or not, so I downloaded the app and I thought I'd try it out for myself. This is weird. What the heck? All right, so we're at the location and this is, this is weird. There's a car just chilling huh. in the woods. How did they even get in here though? Like there's trees <laughs> everywhere and there's no way a car could get in here. This what? car looks super old. That is weird. So strange. <laughs> oh no! I can relate to this so much because this is literally my last apartment, guys. I'm not even joking. I am not even joking. This is literally my last apartment. I would straight up put like a little sticky tape on the ground to collect the cockroaches. And there were so many, it was thousands. Thousands. Now I found this locked box in my attic wall. Nah. And the key was rattling inside this mirror. Nah, Some nah, nah, nah. I mean, look, you broke a mirror. It's already over. Didn't want us to find it. But we have. Really strange objects were inside. Oh. I don't know what that is. Like it, this small pendant necklace. That's cool, but what's the thing? What looks like a burnt piece from a Ouija board? Nah, fam. Gonna go ahead it's and say nah. In wax. A second key. And this lock of hair. 
Not sure why it was hidden. Well, now you've unreleased spirits into your house, so it's hidden because obviously they trapped the demon that was in your house. This is a horror movie in real life here. Mysterious videos that can't be explained. This figure taps him on the shoulder. Guy gets tapped. The man turns around and just barely avoids being struck by a piece of metal hanging off the side of a car. But what baffles everybody who sees this video is how this mysterious figure knew that this man was in danger. He didn't even <laughs> oh, see the car. That is weird. Walking. But I'll give you an explanation, all right? The guy was trying to create a viral video and did this specifically to make a viral video and confuse people. It's not that creepy. Oh, this is like a little Halloween decoration. This is cool. I mean, it, oh, no, 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 no. I put my Halloween decorations in a little plastic tub and put them up in the little, con you know, put them up in the shelf. For whatever reason, one of the things broke and now it's all moldy and I'm afraid to open it. So long story short, I don't open that drawer anymore because it is moldy. Excuse me. All right, let's see what we got. Not dog that. forgets how to dog. Are you doing dishes? I hope so. I, ooh, 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 I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. No, 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 no. As someone who's never owned a dog, this would creep me out. Like, as a kid, dogs freaked me out, yo. They, they scared me. I thought they were gonna eat me. What is this? Why does it look like a, why is this dog's belly so large? I guess, it looks like it's a horse? What is this, a horse or a dog? What is this animal? It's a dorse, dude. This is like the liger, but so much stupider. Oh, God. Wait, this is just like a kid scaring. Crap, man, I spooked myself now. Think about a ghost, and now I got goosebumps, which makes this even more scary. I don't like this. I don't like this one. Oh, this would terrify me, dude. This is the kind of thing I would do to my brothers because like moving slowly makes things scarier. And uh, <laughs> where's your flamethrower at, my guy? He's gonna jump, dude. Uh, yo. Elon Musk made flamethrowers from the boring company for one reason, and it was for this exact moment. All right, we're, we're just moved up a level again. This is getting crazy. Haunted doll? You what now? Nah, you ain't out here collecting haunted dolls. There's no way. Our department burned this house down because it was too haunted. Ain't no way. Watch the dark spirits escape. Oh, look, that is a dark spirit. You're right. Wait a minute. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. That was a dark spirit. I don't know what they look like, but probably like that. I need you to drop a comment if you've ever seen a ghost or something. Like, literally tell me what happened. I'm very curious. I'm gonna read them all. Oh, this is cool. Little. Oh, no, I've seen this. It, yeah, I was about to say. I've seen this, and it's so creepy how this works because I think it uses mirrors. The first time I saw this gave me a heart attack. Now that I know, it's not that scary. All right, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. So, guy's peaceful moment nearly turns into losing a leg. Gotta be Australia. And this is why some people are terrified of the ocean. Hey, TikTok. Oh, this is so, fun. this is my house. Looks good. And this is the scene of a brutal abduction and murder. No. No! We lived in the house for a total of four years, and we were never told about the brutal crime that happened there. This is the same couch, by the way. Dude, what? You bought a house that was actually full of- cover on it. What? This is the same bedroom from a different age. That's creepy. I do not claim this energy, and I don't want to buy a house that was actually killed in. What'd you see? It's just a little, uh, Little worm. It's behind that tree. Oh, that's Bigfoot. I actually got a little bit of chills here, even though I feel like it's low key probably fake. Like part of me says it's probably not fake. Could be a bear, could be a human being, could be a demon, could be an alien. I think it's an alien. We found an abandoned diner from the 1950s. That's really cool. It looks like a movie set. Why is everything like burnt though? This is, looks like a movie set. Is this real? Today's special is cow. Wow. I feel like they literally would struggle to make a movie scene look as good as this. I guess that makes sense. This is real life. Oh, yo, I love watching paddleboarding videos on YouTube. Secret thing I like. Uh, but then I see this and I say. What? That's kind of like the reaction I get here. Like, it's so pretty, yet probably you're going to die. Oh, this is fun. What's scary about this? How does stuff like this that has so many people go abandoned? Like genuinely, like well, how does everyone just stop showing up? I don't understand. What's that sound? Oh, it's just a break. <gasps> Why is Siren Head a thing? Like where did this come from? Like where where is this from? I don't understand. I like it, but where is it from? All right, we're moving into uh I don't honestly even know what this is. This is Wisconsin. Okay. 
This is very specific. I want to see that guy who zoom. Oh, CCU College. Okay. Never heard of it. Getting in there. Okay. Oh my gosh, my boy found E.T. My boy found an alien and ran- It could be in Canada. This also could be America. I'm not sure if we crossed the border or not, but that's pretty amazing. Oh, here we go. I love these. Because this reminds me of, like, if Pokemon were real, this is probably how they would look. Like, y'all know Ekans wouldn't be out here being a cute snake. He'd probably look like this. Oh, yeah, there it is. This one's actually kind of cute, though. This would be a great little Pokemon. I'd capture him in a great ball and cast it at my enemies and have him suck out their souls or something. Strangest sounds recorded in the ocean. Okay, I'll tell you what, I've heard that scratching before in other video games. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's definitely a dinosaur about the size of the one on screen. Like, I've played Ark. I grew up on Ark. Y'all know that I played that game a lot. It's just, this is just what's in there, all right? What if that beluga whale isn't impersonating a human? That's a beluga whale begging for help because there's a human trapped inside of a beluga whale's body that was experimented on by some government. Could be. Cincinnati Mills. Cincinnati Mill? Yo, I used to live in Cincinnati. All right, bet. Let's see. Do I on here? Mall in Fairfield, Ohio. Yo. That was a treat to explore. This is so close to me, I feel like. I've never been to there, though. Broken escalators, creepy decorations, and completely empty stores Whoa. all added to the spookiness. Of Actually, I don't know, man. I almost wonder if I have been here. I don't know when this one abandoned because I lived there a while ago. 2015, it closed. Like, I swear I came here to get, like, one of my first iPhones or something on Apple Store. Trying to grab some food, but the food court was like something out of a zombie apocalypse. I don't understand, though. If it's closed, why is there so... Like, this is probably worth millions of dollars. Like... I, I don't know, right? Like, these cabinets are good. That's a nice little... Like, the letters? I don't know. The tables? Three chairs? Like... Why is nobody taking this stuff? That's kind of crazy, dude. I miss Cincy. It's a good spot. A grossly obese man decided to live without eating by using his body fat and vitamins. After one year and 17 days, he lost 275 pounds with no effects. No way. Alright. Is this a mask or is this an animatronic or is this a real human being? It's, it's just like... I don't like it. Wait, this sounds like me as a kid. She said no one leaves the room. Her girl is torturing the dolls. Yeah, you know what? That's okay. I, I can see it happening. Why does this look so creepy to me? Oh, it's just a child walking. Oh. No, I don't like this one. There's not a lot I want to add to it because I'm getting chills. And when I do that, I need to move on before I get too scared. Because I'm kind of scared of everything. So we're in the final scariest ones now. Let's see what we got here. This looks like SpongeBob. What would you do if you just saw a hook coming out of the sky like that? That would be crazy. That is so crazy. What a weird idea. Two, oh. three, four. Someone's knocking at the door. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, normally I can get through these fine. This one definitely hit different. Scratches at the mirror like this every night at 3 a.m. Is it haunted? Oh, he's definitely see something. He definitely sees something and it ain't himself. He's looking up. If he was looking at himself, he'd be looking straight. My boy just saw a demon. Time to move out. What? Is that creepy? <laughs> it is kind of creepy. We're about to be doing that more. A little swiffing action. Wow, this reminds me of my first college apartment. No cap. What we got down here? Is that a hot dog? Yeah. <gasps> God. Oh. That got me bad, dude. All right. That's one for me. All right. I jumped right there. I like these. These aren't like jump scares. They're just like genuinely creepy. I can't, I can't stop watching these videos. Like, look at that. Isn't that great? Isn't that just something to see before you go to bed? I know if someone just clicked away and they said, I can't take this. Yes, you can. Be strong, Zacklings. Be strong. Riding the motorcycle here on an old wooden bridge and... Oh, that's a freaking river and a half right there, folks. What the heck? Is this for real? Where is this? Dude, what if someone comes over the hill and you hit them? Nah, you're dead if you fall in that. No chance. Okay, this will be good. Oh, yeah, there it is. Love it. Why doesn't Shortest Blockbusters make an actual movie or a game? This would be a great movie. Well... I wouldn't watch it. That's too scary for me. Let's go to an abandoned Bad hospital, idea. they said. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Is, is that an elevator? It. 
Do you know how dangerous that is, though? Like, structurally? I'm just here to say, that's freaking scary. A ghost attacks a woman? Yeah, that's a great question. Would you quit your job if a ghost attacked you? I don't think quitting your job is going to stop a ghost that wants you dead. You quit your job, it's going to follow you home, all right? What would you see? What is it? Oh, it's a dude. That's definitely a dude. No doubt about it. There is someone living in the forest. Why do these people just stop? I mean, this guy's headlights are perpendicular to the road. All right, you got to stay on the road, folks. This is just is not the move. This is people in horror movies are dumb. People in real life are dumb. Excuse me? Yes? What page are we supposed to be on? Um, uh, page 172. Okay, thank you. Unmute and then mute and ask a question and they can still hear you. No way. Is this Zoom? Yo, I mute myself all the Is that actually a thing? Now I'm never gonna know if I can trust a Zoom meeting, which is why I don't join them ever because I hate them. Was staring at the bathroom oh. ceiling all night. Then I noticed okay. I never put yeah. a smoke detector in here. Is that a hidden camera? What? No. No. Dude, that's creepy. And I honestly hate staying at Airbnbs because like I feel like literally anything could be a camera. They could make a plug a camera. Even that dog could be a camera. This creepy oh, video God. Off the internet. You know I'm probably getting demonetized on this one, guys. So if you want to help support the channel, join my Minecraft server. That's the best way you can do it. Oh, God. No. 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 Don't do that. No. I'm dead. I would just die. My heart would stop. Okay, now this one. This one's going to be disturbing. I'll tell you that right now. Just give me a warning. Be prepared. For the worst. There it is. That's it. Yep, there it is. I thought it was going to be a big shark, not a giant head, but someone out there just probably about had freaked out. You know what, though? There's fungus that infects animals and, like, takes over their mind. He might be infected. He might be infected by the fungus. I don't know. The fungus may have got him. Oh. Okay. Is this actually going to be creepy? Good art. A little bit sharper there. Okay. Joker Dory? This is cool and satisfying, dude. I have this app, but it doesn't work like that when I use it. Can I see the final results, fam? Oh, that's creepy. How's it just work like that? When I use this, it just doesn't work well. Here we go. Oh, ooh, that's, that's pretty good. That's really good. What the heck? Why can't I do art like this? I never got the artistic talent gene. That's not fair. All my life, I lived next door to a murderer. Has anyone out there ever actually lived by a murderer? Because that's like really scary to think about. I mean, it could be anyone. The jaunt hesitated to close. Is that a Philly word? They used to say John. Is jaunt a plural of John? My door does that all the time, actually. Straight up just closes constantly. And uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Skull found in a lake. <gasps> I don't know if you can see this, but that looks like a skull. It does. Well, grab it, dude. Why does he not pick it up? It was a three minute video. Bro didn't even pick it up. I would take that home with me and I would sell it. There are people that would buy a human skull, all right? The owner of this house is found dead, decomposing on her bed. Okay. After that discovery, her kids locked the doors and never returned. They just left her there, decomposing or what? Oh, they did. Nobody went inside for 10 years. No way. If you decompose on your bed for 10 years, bro, that's disgusting. No, I didn't know this was a thing. You just, who, what? You just flop them up on your boat with a pitchfork? That's so weird, because I don't know anybody who eats jellyfish. So I'm trying to figure out why we're collecting jellyfish for. That many of them? That's so many. Oh, the death whistle. <laughs> I should buy one of those. That'd be good to use. Just like every now and then, just to give it a little blow in the city. I was just out exploring some archeology span when this happened. Did I just find a crime scene? This looks like Breaking Bad location. So, okay, what, what's your crime scene though? It's just a. A shirt? A chair? What? It is a chair. So this is weird. There's like backpacks, clothes everywhere, guitar. Like there's like just stuff everywhere. I don't know. All I know is that if that is a crime scene, bro touched all the stuff. So now his handprints are there. So he's going to look like the murderer. So don't do that if you find stuff. What's the scariest thing you've ever found? Oh, this is cool. I love abandoned exploring. Random hanging meat. Okay. To human ashes left Human behind. ashes left behind? More. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. Random bones lying around. Creepy dolls. Why, why would you go into it? It feels to me like people go in here and just purposely try to make it creepy by hanging up a doll. Like that's like something a teenager would do, bro. They found the Loch Ness Monster. This is something I'm passionate about as a believer in monsters, especially the Loch Ness. Let's see if we can really see it here. Oh, a little bit of bubbling. As we pan back right over, there, see right that there. Little movement in the water. You're that's saying the this is the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> That's okay. one of them. All right. 
So, I mean, this is debatable, maybe, but we do have another example here of potentially the Loch Ness Monster coming at a guy in the water. I mean, there's obviously something massive, right? Oh, that is questionable. It, it's, I mean, what is that? Is it, it doesn't look like a shark, does it? Could be. That could just be like the world's biggest shark or it could be the Loch Ness Monster. Either way, uh, you're dying. Discovered something strange in our newly built neighborhood. Okay. We started to realize all the bird and nature sounds were on repeat. We then started to find <laughs> no actual way. speakers hidden everywhere. No way. What if that's real? Isn't it scary they have fake nature sounds instead of real ones? Is that real? I would assume it's not, but like I wouldn't put it past them to like do that to sell a house in a new development. Like that could be something they do. This is already a great start to this one with a freaking giant eel face. Let's see what this is. I don't think these are that creepy because they got a little fish in their mouth. So how creepy can they be if they got a little friend in there? They got like a little pet just cleaning out their mouth. Bro's just getting a dental appointment right now. Like that's just a friendly guy having a friendly dentist come in there, do the work. He's not even eating the dentist. So he's obviously got some self-control. I can't tell how big this thing is you know what i mean like is that big enough for a human to fit inside of it could it fit your arm or would it not even fit a finger like i'm not sure the scale i need a banana next to it or something but i'll tell you right now it's not that scary to me well this will be fun you're gonna open up her oh don't like that that's like a really good torture machine to be honest like that's something the military probably uses to rip your eyeballs out what is, this real is that what is uh it's gonna jump whatever it is all right what is that what what the heck what is that what am i looking at what is this what is this spider-like monstrosity is it a, people are saying it's a coconut crab oh I, I i think it could be maybe a coconut crab in fact i'll say that it is just to make myself feel better so we found this box hidden under the floor but tiktok deleted the video for opening it a little bit of candle wax we okay only wanted to show you why you should be careful buying a house at auction is it like okay it's just empty empty candle wax box Right? Oh. The realtors definitely didn't mention this in the advert. We're a bit concerned about who used to live here. Apparently, the writing marked on the lid translates to Whoa. don't let her speak. Sometimes you see stuff like this and it's like, is it real? Did they actually find it or did they just literally set it up for a good viral video? The speed of this turn of feeding. I bet he's not that quick. Oh, he just vanishes for some reason, because tuna is always what you. Wow, it just disappears. I always thought tuna were kind of mid looking, but actually they're kind of sick. Mysterious hatch. Oh, a secret underground room. I don't know why you don't finish that basement. Come in here, put it like actual walls, get some lights in and make this a secret man cave. That would be the coolest area ever. Uh, instead, it is just oh, it's actually massive. OK, that's actually so big. When you walk outside your house and see this. All right, you know what's crazy? I'm pretty sure this creepy looking cloud was in Ohio. That was right next to where I live. I never got to see it. It is absolutely horrifying, but I would have been freaking out. I love clouds. Oh, uh, so this is like a, I'm pretty sure this is uh, the tsunami in 2011 hit Japan. The view from the boat of this tsunami. Like you're just out there chilling. Let's see how this thing looks. You can little bit see the curve coming. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's not, they, they actually scooted right over it. But there's going to be multiples and they're probably going to get even bigger. That would be horrifying. Is that one even larger? Look at that one. Oh man, this boat's handling it like a champ. I thought it would crack in half and they would die. No, they're doing good. No way. We got bugs living inside your outlets? For real? Oh, look at that. Ew. Reminds me of my old cockroach infested apartment back in the day. If you never lived in one of those, you're missing out. Humongous crab found in Russia. Whoa. I didn't realize how scary crabs were until like today. Like now that I'm starting to look at it, I'm like, bro, these are like giant spiky spiders. Why aren't they? Why aren't, why aren't more people scared of them? It's literally just a giant spider. Is it because it only has six legs and not eight? Is that why? If these had two more legs in the back, would we suddenly all be terrified of crabs like we are black widows? Like, cause like, why isn't that scary? Cause it is a little bit. Maybe it's cause it's not hairy. Oh, look at that. That is a pretty odd discovery. It's kind of scary. What exactly is the point of that? It, it, it doesn't feel like an Ohio thing, which is weird. Usually it is. I don't, we don't got that many sheep here. Enormous snake glides. I got this weird fascination with anacondas and I'll find myself once a month going on YouTube and tapping in world's biggest anaconda and just looking at them. Do you believe the lost sea yes. of Atlantis exists? Yes, I do. I mean, obviously it exists. It exists in Bimini, in Bahamas, and that's Bohemian water. Bro, I know about Atlantis. It's real. That seems more like a flood barrier to me. I, I don't know that... 
I just feel like that looks like, okay, okay, maybe not. Wait, I don't know what that is now. Is this an art piece or is this action? Oh, that's it. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I love Atlantis conspiracies. Underground trees. I think this has got to be an art project, to be honest with you. But I really, I don't know. Like, cause like, could it be Atlantis? Cause it could be. Like, they're, like what do the comments say here? This is a diving museum in the Canary Islands. So they're saying it's a diving museum. However, I still think Atlantis is real. This abandoned movie theater closed in 2020. has been sitting inside. For that's expensive. For that's expensive. Years. Oh, they broke now it and didn't take the fat cow? Why? Why would you take it, bro? That seems so expensive. But this, they, I just, I don't understand. Like, that seems so expensive. Just the film roll there itself, that that's real, has to be expensive. Or it's a movie set. Wow, that's a fat booty on an ant. What the heck? Today was another day of donating some baby ants to them because some of their workers have been dying out. And the reason why I have to continuously give them baby ants is because currently their queen is infertile. I didn't know queens had were that big. Imagine if humans did that. There was like a 25 foot human that was just our king just because he was a big boy. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, why not? A Chinese zoo has denied that it's bear as a human in disguise. Hmm. I don't know. That does look like a little bit like a costume to me. What do you guys think? Is that a real bear or is that a human wearing a bear outfit? It looks like a human. Under construction skyscraper fire in Hong Kong. How do you get like a, how do you get a fire hose up there? You just got to let it burn out at that point. I don't, I don't think they make them that long. Like, how do we not know that this isn't some sort of breathing tube for some underground civilization? Anything that comes in gets shot with a laser blaster, and that's what we're hearing. Garden Pool, Australia. Hmm. See, I don't, I feel like Garden Pool is maybe too much of like a calm name. How about like most deadly random ocean in the center of somebody's backyard that would just murder you if you fell into it? Why is it so turbulent? How is it shaking that much? I have so many questions about this. Like, it just seems like it is so aggressive. Wow. NASA's James Webb telescope has spotted a giant question mark object in deep space. <laughs> it is. Seems like there's a lot of fish. Let's see. Oh, wow. I wonder if they uh, eat people or not. Wow, that is like a thick ball of just pure fish. That is crazy. Look how big some of these are. They look like sharks almost. What? Well, they're coming in from miles away for the great the great rice offering. Staying at my grandmother's house for a bit, opened up the toilet and was greeted by this. So how, so, oh, so how does that happen? She said after a heavy rain, it's normal. Does that mean they flood up out of the sewage system into her toilet? This tall guy, my neighbor's yard always scares me. It's two small trees and a satellite dish. Oh, <laughs> two small trees, satellite dish there. That's so funny. What I found under my bedroom. Come to my side and there's a giant piece of snake skin just sitting right there. So then I took a look around and took a look behind here and we have, what's that? Oh yeah, oh. it's a giant snake. They say it's a king snake protecting him from other snakes. So apparently this is a king snake. I don't know anything about snakes, but I don't want a snake in my bedroom. This is a skinwalker disguised as a deer. Tell me that looks like a normal deer to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like I see that thing outside my, I see, oh man, I see that thing outside my front door. I'm like, I'm fleeing the country. I'm fleeing the planet earth. I'm going on to Mars and I will never be back to earth. That's horrifying. A Cordy Celeps attack ant. These bullet ants are showing some worrying symptoms. He seems fine, he's partying. Spores from a parasitic fungus called Cordyceps have infiltrated their bodies. Okay, I know where this is going. Why do these not exist for humans? Wouldn't you think some evil person would have invented this and like had it spread among the population? I'm just saying there's probably an evil dude out there that would want to do that, right? Like it's never happened though, as far as I'm aware. Oh my God. I, I, it's just so mind blowing that something like this exists. It controls the ant, then it releases spores from its brain. Look at this, dude. There are literally thousands of different types of cordyceps. Fibers. Thousands of types, yet yeah, none of them get humans. Explain that. Oh, that one's cool. Cool and creepy if that's what you're into. I'm not, that freaks me out. I just think there should be a human variant. I'm just saying. Crocs can gallop? That's actually kind of cute though. Well, I mean, as long as it's not coming after me, it's kind of cute. I mean, if it's coming after me, then I'm gonna die. But it'll still be cute until I die. Bro, goose teeth, look at this. You've never you seen this before. These actually have teeth on their beak and on their tongue. I know. On their tongue? What? That's so creepy. Those teeth are actually known as denticles. And they're used mm. They got tentacles in their mouth? But it also means that if they bite you on the finger, it can really hurt. No can way. So I can check your eggs? Bro, I ain't checking nothing from a geese after looking at that. I don't know what geese hissed at you. Day six of watching a goose try to hatch out some chickens. 
Oh my god, why does it sound more like a snake than a snake does, dude? Geese are frightening. And they shoot this grappling hook type head out of their proboscis. Four fangs dig in. Bro, I wish I had a grappling hook thing to stick out of my proboscis. And then with those fangs, they inject venom. That venom oh. paralyzes and sometimes even stops the heart of its victim. Wow! And then they sit there and slurp up the innards. Dude, I'll tell you, I would do so much with my proboscis if I was sticking out a slurper. Okay, this is really cool. You see how it's completely wow. slinked out like this? Yeah. Notice that coloration. The blood. You see how purple it is? Is it blood? Yeah. It's all peach colored here and yeah. purple here. That's why they're called blood worms because oh. their insides are actually dark red and the That's skin cool. is semi-translucent and you can see that coloration right through Wow. There. Does that mean yeah. if it gets too fat, it rips? You can Stick out your proboscis, bro. Show me what you got. Yeah, isn't that wild? Come on. Look down the side of its body there. You see how it looks like the spikes coming off? Are they spikes? Yeah. I mean, when your legs are actual spikes, you know you've made it from evolution. And when you know you got a proboscis, you made it even more. Oh, that's weird. I'm surprised his fingers are not broken. Oh, that's a very realistic hand. That is uncanny. Even more uncanny if it moves. Dude, City is be putting up the weirdest art. Like, seriously. Sometimes I look at City art and I'm like, this has to be money laundering. Why would anyone buy this? Like, it's so weird. Maggot carpet. Ew. Not good is right, dude. Oh, I hate maggots. Maggots are the most disgusting thing on the entire planet other than your mom. Nothing else tops it. God, that's nasty. Is it about to get worse? How is this possible? Unless there's a dead body. These are so hard to get through, man. They're so gross. They're so scary. House has been quiet for a few that days. house has got a murder victim in it. I can tell you right now. It just looks then like we it. Noticed the oh, flies. God. I think I'm right. Oh, God, it is. It says murder house. And all the windows. This actually literally could be like a dead body in there. I'm glad it did not show us a dead body because I would have lost monetization like that. But we did it, so we're good. We the found a creepy abandoned house. I used to do this as a kid. I actually, I got a crazy story. I would do this as a kid. I would go into abandoned houses near where I lived. One of them, the entire basement was flooded. Like it was like literally green, five, 10 foot of water. And I almost jumped into it and went swimming. I would have died from an Ohio alligator probably. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's all right. This is weird. All right. Oh, nope. This looks like a, like a, like a, like this doesn't even, this looks like a, like a setup. It is so creepy. It doesn't even look real. No way. What? That's so cool. This is real. I feel like this stuff is worth some money. It needs to go in a museum or something. Those are bed bugs. I had one bed bug once in my last home, which was infested with cockroaches. And it was from my neighbor because I know he was a fat slob. Bro, I freaking bolted out of that place. Six months later, I was out. Automon display. Oh. I feel like that would be such a good movie set in like a new like Eddie Murphy haunted like, you know what I mean? Like haunted Disney movie or something. Northern Lights make sounds? No, they don't. Really? This doesn't seem right. Can, can someone tell me if that's real? Because if they're actually making sounds, I would believe those are the ancestors. I think we understand now those are the ancestors. It looks like an ordinary selfie of a man at the ocean. Yeah. But believe it or not, this picture actually has a tragic backstory. Oh, okay. On January 11, 2007, a 38-year-old man from Australia named Andrew McCauley made a second attempt to kayak across the Tasman Sea. Seems easy. The Tasmanian police and Australia's search and rescue service cautioned against the trip, but regardless... Okay, Andrew why? It seems like so smooth. His journey. It and seems so Thursday, easy. On February 8th, with only 120 kilometers... Oh, okay, that's pretty far. He sent a triumphant text message to his wife and three-year-old son who were waiting in New Zealand saying, quote, see you at 9 a.m. Sunday, oh, boy. end quote. But unfortunately, that was the last time anyone has heard from Andrew before he vanished. Then on Saturday night on February 10, the Rescue Coordination Center in New Zealand found Macaulay's upturned kayak oh. in near perfect condition, just 54 kilometers offshore oh, that's weird. of for Sound. And near the kayak, they also found Andrew's camera with the memory stick inside. So what you're looking at now is the last known selfie of Andrew McCauley before he vanished. All right, well, that's horrifying. Oh my God, what? Whoa, wow, wow, whoo, oh, I mean, it just is absolutely terrible. And, and, and I'm not even gonna guess, but that's horrifying. Things in psychology class Oh, this will be good. Really you know what's gonna be good when she got a dream catcher, a calendar, looks like some sacrifice saying a black cat, big things on her ears, earrings. This okay. is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. Parent makes mistake. Okay. Okay. First child makes mistake. Oh my god, why do you never pay attention? You always do this. You're so constant. You need to pay the 
this is what my parents did. Bro, you didn't even t don't hold your children to higher standards than yourself. Hey, this is what my parents did to me, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'm not gonna lie to you, I hated it. I think most of us probably dealt with that though. Let's be honest. All right, well that's horrifying. Oh my god, what? Whoa, wow, wow, who? Well, I mean, it just is absolutely terrible, and, and and I'm not even gonna guess, but that's horrifying. This one AI predicts how the last selfies on Earth will look like. That's not bad. Taking pictures by nukes, getting killed. This guy's not even on Earth anymore, bro. He's just not even on the planet. This girl's face is a definitely not a human. That's an alien. This guy's dead. I don't know how he got that selfie. Someone probably posed him to take that. Yeah, I mean, this is probably probably what could happen. I mean, if there's a last day of Earth, it's going to be from a nuke, probably. I mean, I got to be honest with you. Stone Man Syndrome can transform you into a human statue. Over time, your body literally slowly starts to turn into a statue, just like these people, before it becomes so frozen you can't move or breathe and you die. But immune suppressing drugs may decrease flare up severity. It's actually horrifying, bro. It's called Fibrioplasma Oscoflocoprogalisa. Very, very horrifying. Where is Earth in the universe? This is good because I don't really know where it's at. So basically, we've got that's the universe, and this is, and we're still, wow. My goodness. Oh, wow. The amount of zoom on this is a little bit overwhelming. Oh my. Ooh, wow, we're still get, still going. Is that the sun? Oh, there's the solar system. Still not there yet. There it is. That's just a creepy noise of the sun. Kind of creepy. Oh my God, look at the size of that one. So yeah, I think if one of these flares hits us, either we all die, but I think most likely, all, like if that hits us, all of our electronics fry. Wow, that's kind of frightening. Did you hear that? Yes. I'll play it again. That is the sound of two black holes merging into one. Come on, they do not do that. That's like a cartoony sound. I mean, I guess we can use that sound effect for the rest of today's video, and I guess the billions of dollars we invested into this is now worth it, because we can go boink. Is one of the biggest black holes ever discovered. I'm trying to figure out how that thing was. I mean, do you guys see how big that is? How is this just never discovered? Scientists wow. at Durham University That's crazy. Ultra-massive Look how black dense hole. light. It is 33 billion times the size of the sun. 33 billion times bigger than the context. If the sun was scaled down to the size of a granule of sugar, this black Oh, 10,000 bags of sugar, not 10,000 sugar particles. Scientists have just discovered a giant asteroid that Good. might one day cross paths with Earth. This asteroid is being called a planet killer because wow. it is 1.5 kilometers wide. Dude, imagine just being that asteroid floating through space and seeing the Earth and knowing you won't hit it for like a thousand years. Okay. What if you're all alone in a tiny spaceship in endless space and you, you hear die. a mysterious knocking sound? This is what happened. <laughs> Open it, I guess. <laughs> Yang Liwei, what are you going to do? The first man in space on his maiden flight in 2003. Well, who was, was it? sitting on his space shuttle when he repeatedly heard a knock. According to Leeway, it sounded like somebody hammering an iron bucket with a mallet made of wood. Okay, that's so specific that I believe him. They're being haunted by space snakes. They like slither around and like make noise like that is my guess. This strange planet is stretched out like that. Oh, it's real? Because this planet's star is just constantly ripping it apart. No if way. If you were to stand on this planet, you would instantly be sucked up to this planet's star and... That's crazy. I never thought egg planets could exist. Oh, wow. This is crazy. 14B. This might be the scariest planet ever. What is that? This planet is filled with water, but oh. this water is not normal water. What is it? If you were to step foot on water on this planet, you would die? Your foot would immediately melt away. Wow. So that's really where you don't want to go. When we start exploring the galaxy, that's where they'll send the prisoners. The scariest place in the universe, and it will send shivers down your spine. To find this place, you'll need to zoom out from Earth all the way. I mean, basically, we'll never be here, so I guess it doesn't matter, really, does it? Cosmic web. This web makes our universe almost look like a massive brain. What if it, it is a brain? Seven hundred million light years away, there lies the most expansive void ever discovered. Just nothing. Well, how do we know that's not just like either a giant black hole or somebody launched a mega nuke and just nuked everything? Theory is fake. This theory states that the meteor that killed the dinosaurs wasn't a meteor. It was a spacecraft that was full of humans that- Ooh, I like this. ...universe yeah. to find a new planet. Why not? This would also explain why ancient civilizations like the Incas and Egyptians were so advanced and would disprove the theory that human evolved from a fish and that Darwin and all the schools just taught you some crap. Dude, I like that theory. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we've never seen a giant spaceship that I know of, so that could hold it back a little. But if it, if it were buried, it could be real. Hmm, the most incredible discoveries in space in 2022. Let's see. Pluto has ice volcanoes? What, do they shoot out ice or what? Are they mountains? Mars have two speeds of sound. That doesn't make sense to me. We know that because they sound like this. 
Walking on the moon is incredibly difficult. Oh. Between the years 1969 and 1972, 12 humans walked on the moon. And despite their years of training, they all struggled to do so. In fact, they couldn't really walk. Instead, they had to bounce around. The astronauts found it very hard to get used to the moon's low gravity. Why is it hard to walk on the moon, but you can float around? Oh, 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 because it's a little bit different than floating in the spacesuit. The moon isn't the farthest place that a human has been. One has Cap. been much farther. No. Kind of. See, the sure. ashes of a man named Clyde Tombaugh have traveled past Pluto. He was an what? astronomer at Lowell Observatory, and he discovered our favorite non-planet Pluto when he was only 24 years old. This was obviously a huge discovery. Dude, what if he, like turns into space comets and comes back. When Clyde Tombaugh passed away in 1997, there wasn't a big enough way to honor him, except for sending him to the place he discovered. He likes space. I feel like this might be a really bad way to die because like, I feel like being sent into space, even dead, sounds scary to me. 17 million years ago, the Andromeda galaxy will be so close to the Milky Way, it looks like this. Okay, so most of us probably won't make it to that point. In 300 million years, Saturn's gravity is gonna be strong enough to eventually pull its rings into itself. 300 million years, I think maybe Maybe a couple of us might make it there, but not a lot. In 15 billion years, due to the moon exerting gravitational force on Earth and creating our tides, it also moves away from the Earth, one day causing it to be completely gone. 15 billion years. I don't think I would make it quite that long, personally. And in 5 billion years, our sun will go supernova and boil the side facing the sun. Well, I guess that means if we're boiled alive, it doesn't really matter if the moon leaves, does it? This is TOI 700E. Why do we give them names like that? Like, why is it called Earth? But these have like the most like Star Wars sounding names ever. Why can we call this like Birth or something? That is likely rocky and could be habitable. That far from the sun? The planet is slightly smaller than Earth nah. and is located around a hundred light years away. I don't buy it. What makes it special is that it's located in a Goldilocks zone. The planet orbits within the habitable zone of its star. That's also assuming everything needs water to survive. I mean, why can't plants exist that survive off of ammonia? If a massive asteroid was headed for the Earth, yeah. the chances are there isn't really much we could Disagree, do. Disagree, we could nuke at it. At any moment, the sun could emit a coronal mass ejection aimed at the Earth. Yeah. And if we weren't prepared for it, it could destroy the entire world's energy. I do believe this is going to happen in our lifetime. I actually think that will. I hold the secret to life on Earth. This is the Winchcom meteorite. It landed on some poor slash very lucky person's driveway. That guy's not poor anymore, I bet. Last February. It's a chunk of space rock which came from between Mars and Jupiter in the asteroid. Okay. Weird thing is what we found inside it. Firstly, it's packed full of Eggs. water molecules. Oh. And the chemistry of the water is super similar to oceans. That suggests loads of Earth's water could have been delivered by meteorites billions of years ago. That does not but make sense, but okay. Researchers say it's got amino acids inside. The building blocks of- That is a weird thought though. I mean, I guess it's possible. I don't like that one. It doesn't seem good to me. How they sleep in space. This doesn't even look real, does it? Like when you actually start thinking about it, it's like, this doesn't even look real. My sleep pod. This is uh, where I spend up to eight hours every day here on board the space station. It's Got actually it. on the floor, but uh, once you're inside, you just can't tell. At least that was a door. So you got these beautiful LED white lights on you all night. And then, ooh, that would be a tough, that would, I, I, maybe that would be cozy. I don't know. To me, that's a tough sleep. <laughs> that's so weird. It's weird that we can just fly, isn't it? Like there's no reason we can't just fly other than gravity. You get rid of gravity, suddenly we can fly. The surface of Venus is yellow gassy. It's really weird. They really just straight up look like video games, to be honest. Like they're, it's just like, that's how you would imagine a video game surface looks. And that's apparently how it is. Bro was just recording himself with a GoPro in space. Am I the only one who would get vertigo? Like I would feel like I'm about to fall into the earth. <laughs> I would be so scared. I couldn't not, I, I mean, I'll, I'll be afraid of heights too much. I bet that's the most expensive cable ever. Like there's no way that thing's breaking. This is 10 and a half hours of shots. 10 and a half hour, 30 second exposures aimed straight up at the sky. And you can literally see how the earth rotates. That is weird. I mean, cause it really feels like when you're looking at it in real time, like the earth stays still. Stunning Mars footage. Oh, looks like Colorado. I'm gonna be real with you. This Colorado, this is Little Rock, Arkansas. I don't know, this looks like America. Look how sandy it is, that looks cool. Did you know that there's a floating ocean in space what? that is 140 trillion times larger than all of the bodies of water combined? Do you understand how much 140 trillion is? Located 30 billion light years away from Earth in a quasar, an extremely bright and active galactic nucleus. None of these words mean anything to me. Black hole. The size of the cloud is genuinely difficult to imagine. Yeah. And nobody has a clue where this much water vapor came from. I, I bet I know what it is. I bet it's aliens harvesting water from all the nearby planets using some sort of alien frequency reverberation vibration system, sucks it all up, 
and they create a water planet, and then they just drink from it when they're thirsty. Why would NASA hide this astronaut's terrifying oh, story? Let's find out. Leroy Chio, an American astronaut who served as the International Space Station's commander for six months in 2005, has stated on record that it would be the height of conceit to think that we are the only species operating in the stars. So this guy saw something. He was working on the International uh -oh. Space Station, 230 miles above the planet. Uh-oh. Installing antennas and radio gear. Why wouldn't they install it on the ground? <laughs> Dumb. He claimed to have seen a line of lights that were arranged like an upside down Nike swoosh, even though he- An upside down knife swoosh or Nike swoosh? An experienced astronaut. I saw them all fly by, and I thought it was rather unusual, he told the press. What was it that Xiao might have seen up there? Oh, dude, there's a space snake. Abandoned funeral home. They have three here. What are they called? Hearses? 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 Bro, why would they leave these here? The owner of this funeral home left suddenly. Oh, that is weird. 2009 and is there still a body? Returned. Whoa. Why wouldn't you at least sell it? I don't understand. You just leave it? Flee the Two country? Weeks before, the owner had told her staff that there was something oh, okay. sinister within these walls. That gives me the goosebumps. And that they had to leave. Okay. Oh, why do they have all those faces? What is this? Dude, I feel like obvious. Okay, the fan first off is melting, so that's weird. Oh, there's a leak right here. Just absolutely devouring the table. So there's a water bill. He never returned back to work or her home and was never seen again. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. This is horrendous. Dude, this guy died in 2004 and they never the actually put his gravestone on. Now sits decaying and forgotten in time. What's crazy is these are expensive. Like this stuff is expensive. Like a good casket these days, several thousand dollars. I am shocked nobody has looted that place and sold some caskets. This is, I don't like it. Whoa, it's so HD. Why is this so high definition? Why is this animal looking so clean? What is this, a baby goat? It's gonna scream? What is it? It's called a Damascus goat. Honestly, yeah, it does, something about that is a little bit scary to me. Like this one, it will scare me, probably. High chance. Okay. Little bit creepy, little bit creepy. I was able to manage that one because like he didn't run at me. And if he started running at me, my fight or flight would have kicked in and my adrenaline would have been off the charts. This is cool. I'm not sure what this is. It's some kind of like horror show, haunted Halloween night or something. I don't really know, but look how cool it is. All the scary monsters come out. It's like a Disneyland for scary. I would love to be the tall one because since I'm so short in life, I would get a little bit of momentous feel that it's like to be a tall person. Well, there's not that many of them. They got a full city for 10 people? Bro, I would do anything to be able to just pretend to be a tall guy for like just a couple hours even, just to like feel that. Always test the water. These are, to me, not, well, it's got like a little fear response in me, like a little something like, oh, I shouldn't touch that. Those little, ten those little dangly guys down there are a little bit scary to me, but like jellyfish do not strike fear into my soul. Logan is already inside, so what's trying to get in? You mean your dog's already inside? That's a different dog? Why you didn't show- You did not show me your actual dog. So I can't believe that, I, you know? This one, I'm fine. I can take it, I bet. I'll be okay. It's like a giant golem from Lord of the Rings, except this one's like big and quick. I'll be all right. Like to me, it's fine. Like I'm gonna die. I know I'll die in that situation. I have no fear because I already have accepted death. Hit him, hit him. No. This no, I would hate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to Halloween haunted events because of reasons like that. Those get to me. Grappling hook a blood worm. Out of their proboscis, four fangs dig in, and then with those fangs, they inject venom. That venom paralyzes and sometimes even stops the heart of its victim. Whoa. And then they sit there and slurp up the innards like Bro, a made a good slurp sound effect. Now, okay, this is really cool. You see how it's completely slinked out like this? Notice that coloration. You see how blood. purple it is? Yeah. It's all peach colored here and purple here. That's why they're called blood worms because their insides are actually dark red and the skin is semi-translucent and you can see that coloration. Right that is here. creepy. It's not that scary to me. I'd be fine with a blood worm. Oh, the back rooms. A couple people are afraid of these bad boys. Uh, me personally, depends. Depends on if there's a, a weird looking humanoid monster for whatever reason. Let's go home. I, if you're actually in this situation, what do you pick? Home or the question mark? Because you feel like home's a lie, and so I would probably do the question mark, but let's see if I'm wrong. It's already feeling wrong to me for some reason. It already feels like the wrong choice. 
See? You come out to outer space and then what? No aliens though, interestingly. Well, I guess that it could have been so much worse. If I'm gonna go down and die, I mean, I might as well do it with a beautiful view the last few seconds. I can handle this. Just give me one second. I can handle this. Hello? Easy. Hello? Genuinely easy. No f No fear. No fear. All right, because you know it's coming. It's predictable. It's too easy. No fear for me. This one, unpredictable. Fear. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that is cool, actually. You got the sickest haunted door I've ever seen before. Beautiful clouds in the sky. Oh, they're moving. Oh, it's a giant alien mouse demon in the sky eating the moon. Oh, it's eating the moon. Okay. Some people say the moon's a space station controlled by lizards. I'm not one of those people. Are those cockroaches? Hmm. I actually think those are grasshoppers. They're crickets. If it was cockroaches, it would be a clear indication there's a dead body inside, but I don't know what crickets mean. What do you see? Oh. There's a red light behind the mirror in the dressing room, with, which definitely is definitely looking like a camera, bro. What? How did you find that? Oh, wait, I think if you use your camera to film, if you hold up your phone and film, you can see cameras through your camera lens, but you might not be able to see them with your own eyes. Dude, that's so scary. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, there's a good chance many of us have been recorded on double-sided mirrors and don't realize it. Think about that for a second. Think about it. Now stop, because it's scary. The body bags are moving. What? Oh. I mean, maybe, 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 maybe it's not real. Maybe it's not real. That's my logic for that one. It's just not a real guy. What is this? Is that a monkey or a pig? What is this? What is this animal? What? Is that a dog? Is that a cat? What is this animal? Is that like a, is that a doll? What the heck is that, bro? I love a good storm. This looks relaxing. Just a little dark, no tornado. You're safe, you're safe. Huh? I can hear it. Wait, that smoke, what is that right there in front of us? That's not smoke, that's... that's oh. Yep, They're you stand, go out. stay inside. Little, little bit of fear there when you see the wind so close to you, but at the end of the day, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm dying or I'm not, you know? I'm not gonna do nothing about it, it's a tornado. Just checked into our Airbnb for a silly girls weekend. We have a punch in the wall, potential blood splattered next to the bed, uh, quite a bit potentially, actually. Well, I mean, that looks like a night, nightly nosebleed, though, to be honest. I, we've all kind of had a dense nosebleed. Is this someone's Halloween decorations? Oh. Wow, they have literally, like, hundreds of Halloween things. Where do you store this? Genuinely, this would have taken days to set up. What the heck, dude? I hope one of them is a real person that scares people and pretends that he's like a statue, but he's a real person. You guys made it all the way to the end. Congratulations, you are a certified scary master. And if you want to see more to balance out the scary, click here to watch a cute video. Peace.